some special guests, our dogs, and we'd like to welcome Molly. Molly's a big star on the TV. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and we're going to be making our dogs in cake using Molly's new cake tins. So that's my creature creator. I point at it, I've got no hands. Stop. This is Reggie. This is Dotty. That's Poppy. It's Poppy the awkward one. Zoe. <laughs> and they're my creature creators and they make basically any 3D animal creature person. Um, and we're going to show you how to use both of them. So you're using the laying style and I'm using the setting style. Right, let's Reggie. get started. With Kate Reggie. Kate Reggie. Don't lick it though. <laughs> I won't do that to her, just in case. <laughs> right, let's get started. So we're going to use... Well, these cake moulds, these new cake moulds. Yep, this is my Creature Creator and it is a 3D mould system. You've got the laying style yep. and that makes more of your kind of uh, four-legged animals, cats, dogs, anything like that, lions and tigers. And I've got the standing style which makes pretty much anything else. And basically what it does is it gives you the 3D cake. I've levelled these off already, if baits and levelled off, without the carving. Nice. So you've got yours there. So you can see the difference in the shapes. Great. Oh yeah. So this is a Genoese that I've used um, just yeah. to bake them. It is a little bit softer than what I recommend in the user guide. I have a recipe in there which is a Madeira recipe. It's a little bit stronger and a little bit more user friendly, <laughs> but I thought I'd throw him in at the deep end because I had some Genoese mix left anyway. So if you want to carefully turn yours over, okay, like that, and then you can buttercream one side and then you can stick them together. Okay. Should I put it on quite thick or quite thin? It's up to you really. I mean, if you put it on thicker, I then get a fatter dog. You get a fatter dog, <laughs> and then it might need a bit more, and um, it might need a bit of refrigeration. But if you do it a bit thinner, we can just go straight into the the kind of fun bit. But it's nice to not have to carve the cake because I think people get a bit yeah stressed about that bit, and it makes a lot of mess. So then, it's about kind of being really careful and holding, holding it really carefully and sandwiching them together. Mine looks a bit like a jelly baby till you've, yeah, it doesn't like a jelly baby. Till you've decorated it. So then a little bit on, on the underside and that's flat as well so that'll... Ah, right, so I'm just going to tidy off yeah. my bits that poke out. Well you can do that when it's stood up. I'm going to stick mine on there. I need to put it straight on my board. Straight on the so board. So a bit of buttercream under there on my board. Yeah, just to stick it down really. It doesn't have to be loads. Mm -hmm. I've got a marble cake, so which is why mine's a bit of a weird colour. It looks nice though. A marble cake is a nice way of saying we ran out of chocolate mix halfway through. <laughs> 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 then, I know, I like marble cake. Yeah, no, I do. I think it's a bit like a nice bit of both, isn't it? You have to be careful with the head on this one. Yep. And then we're going to ganache. <laughs> so because you've got to think about the position of the board, I'm going to put his paws and stuff towards the front. So with yours, her paws will come sort of around the front. So I need to nudge her a little bit further Maybe back. Maybe nudge her back because she doesn't have much of a tail, does she? No, she's got a little stump. A stump. A little stump. Yay. And I'm going to ganache the nice and set. Thank you. I've made a mess, everyone, already. <laughs> but not as much of a mess as if we were carving. But my apron's so nice that I don't want to wipe my hands down my apron. <laughs> I mean, that is nice and soft. I do like ganaching things. It's like the added, like, security of knowing. Yeah, I'm not as good with buttercream. Um, I always find it's a bit soft, so yeah. sometimes... Nice to eat. Yeah, and just nice. sometimes my things collapse. Yeah. When it's just buttercream that I've got on them. Yeah, and especially with these, because we're not putting any supports in at all. Yeah. Which well, is nice. They're holding up quite well, actually, aren't they, without any supports? Yeah. And the more, kind of... You put the sugar paste on and it all seals it together and then sets. Yeah. They do actually become really sturdy and nice and firm, which is what we like. And you could use like dark chocolate ganache as well. Yeah. You could use pretty much anything. And in the book as well, I've got some different flavours. So with the Ooh, nice. normal Madeira, you can obviously make that lemon, yeah. chocolate. You oh, can fantastic. add loads of different flavours into it. And then it kind of, the only difference in the two cakes is just depends on how you cut them. So with with that one that you've got, we say just cut it that way. Yeah. And then you get your slice with the buttercream through. Oh, yeah. But then with this one, we cut it in half first, so then you can get the yeah because it's running vertically through the middle of the cake. Yeah. And luckily, it doesn't matter if I don't have a smooth finish because she's not got smooth hair. Exactly. What's your most popular cake then that you get asked for? To be honest, dogs. Is it? Do you get a lot of dogs? Yeah. And I think people like. Because people love the dog so much. Yeah. I didn't realise that when you get a dog, you turn into just a mad dog-obsessed person. <laughs> you know, like if you see another dog on the street, 
especially if it's the type of dog you'd buy. Like, oh my god. <laughs> Actually, with French Bulldogs, you get a French Bulldog tutorial with that one. Oh, fantastic. So you get the full, um, the full step-by-step -step tutorials you get with the standing mould, the teddy, which you've got over there, and an elephant. So you get a teddy and an elephant with one, and then you get a French Bulldog and a duck with the other. So they're quite nice. Little step by steps. And then you use a guide for all the kind of tips in there as well. So how much do you think we're going to need to cover? I think um, I always roll out a kilo just on the safe side. But then I, it, it's very much personal preference because I work very thick with my shrimp paste. I think because I'm used to doing sculpted cakes, I do very thick yeah. coverings. Because it means you can get a nice amount of texture in it there. Yeah. You know, if you go in the kind of, uh, you could. Yeah. Yeah. So it's basically a couple of different ways of covering. With the laying style, I always recommend just cover it over the top. Yep. Yeah. So I with this the easy option. You've got the easier yes. option. With the standing <laughs> one, I wrap it round and then blend the seam up the back. Brilliant. So I'm wrapping this round like a bandage. It is a little bit more fiddly, but it means that you're not putting it from the top and then you get the tears because it's quite a tricky shape. Otherwise. Yeah, you'd get lots of folds in as well yeah. if you did it from the top. Yeah. So if you like pinch, and then I think I'm actually getting red faced from rolling for the exercise. Okay, let's see if I can put this on. That's it. So it fits. Oh, yeah, and then kind of just start tucking in around the neck first, and then what you lay down. You know what you're doing. <laughs> so you can change the shape a lot by adding the sugar paste. I just found that like when I was making a lot of 3D cakes, which is 99% of what I do. Yeah. That I was carving the same shape over and over again yeah and then all the details are just in the sugar paste so you can make that as complex or as simple as you like really. to be honest you can start with whichever bit you want but i'm going to start with the body and then i might do the head afterwards i'm following your instructions so okay. let's look at your tail so this tail's quite thin oh it's making a little bit nice i know and then I quite like the Renshaw sugar base because it sticks to itself generally, doesn't it? Yeah, it is. It's quite nice as well. So Poppy's got a short, stumpy tail. Oh, I love that tail. Do you usually blend it in or would you just normally leave it with a bit of a line? Um, you're putting quite a lot of fur on yours. I mean, it does blend quite nicely, that. So it's just for your own satisfaction, quite nice yeah. to blend it in. But... So I'm going to add these on and then put the rest of his leg on in, I think it's tan. Yeah. <laughs> Modeling quite nice. We've got what it looks like. Yeah. So I always think as well with that when you do like animal cakes, if you want to go more realistic, yeah. that's a good shape. And then this is more of a of a um a car a caricature. Yeah. Oh there he is. Are you there sure? there? When I'm doing them, I usually go a bit more cartoony. <laughs> oh. oh, you look so good. Modeling for us. <laughs> Do that with Poppy then now. <laughs> See if you can pick Poppy up and do that. <laughs> Your arms will be aching. Oh, beautiful. Hello, missus. Hello, darling. What's he doing with you, Poppy? Oh. Oh, so that's going to be the, the main part of his backside, yeah. and then I'm going to add yeah. the pink part. And on mine, I just need to just press in there. Yeah. Okay. And I think that's nice because I think back legs on four-legged animals can be quite tricky when you're not... Yeah. Obviously you're used to it, but for beginners, I think they're really kind of user-friendly, beginner -y. And that's why I wanted to make something that everybody could use rather than people that were just naturally really brilliant at cakes. So... So he's got tan legs and... He's got tan legs. for lack legs. I'm going to try and balance it out because actually his legs are really thin, but his body on here isn't that thin, so... <laughs> She's going to be cartoony. Yeah. Yeah. But I think mean, that's Mine's good. going to be cartoony. I think that's nice. Although I'm not sure if her leg wants to be fatter. Yeah, I've I think squashed mine out. She's got one foot a bit bigger than the other. I think my leg might be too long. Are um, you not filthy like me? No. How, how did you stay so I think maybe, I think your hands might be naturally warmer than mine now. I have quite cold hands. He has like a, a chest tan bit. Do you, let's have a look at you. Oh, he does? Yeah, so his, his chest is like a tan, so I might stick that See, on. See, Poppy has a bit of grey. Yeah. So would you put lines in as you're going along, or would you wait while you put everything on and then do the lines? I think because we're using quite a soft paste, we can wait. Okay. And I want she's gone. <laughs> it's out of it. It's going to the pizza shop down the road. <laughs> 
How what what kind of white paint do you use? Um, you should probably use a powder. And then just something like this. Yeah. Yeah. And then make it into a paint. Or do it dry. Um, because she's quite grey, I'd probably do it dry. Yeah. Because then it, it doesn't go on a solid, does it? That's a good idea. Yeah. Are you licking my foot? I can hear him licking. <laughs> Anything for attention. Reggie, this is about you, this video. You can't have any more attention than you've already got. <laughs> I'm literally making a cake of you. I've got indentations. So and then little, I just need a nose. Little nose, yeah. I mean, Reggie's, no, Reggie's whole like snout and nose is absolutely tiny. Tiny, They're completely different, like, looking, aren't they? Yeah, they're very so different. They're quite a good couple of dogs to do because of the difference. I so, think we'd go a little bit wider than Poppy actually is. Yeah. Go like a, because you, you're going a slightly more cartoony route. Really. Yeah. You put a beak. <laughs> and then. Tiny, tiny does. So tiny. Thank you. It's weird though, it's like they're almost different species, aren't they? The two of them, Spaniel and <laughs> They're so different. Do you never think they were the same thing? Wow. See, she's got a grey nose, but I figured I could put the colour on oh. afterwards. Have you got a grey nose? She's got a grey beard as well. Yeah, she's grey and ginger beard. Mm -hmm. A little ball stick under her chin. Are you sniffing? Put her some hair and stuff on. Yeah. Oh, he looks so cute now on the face. Through your eyes now. So Reggie's eyes are super goggly. Whereas her eyes are quite like almondy and normal. <laughs> yeah. So I'll start with the white and then I'll build up, I think. They're also really far apart, the eyes. On the chihuahua. I feel like I might put some deeper eye sockets in for her eyes to go into. Yeah, because his are more bulgy, aren't they? Yeah. Hers are quite deep, so she's a bit more of a natural beauty. <laughs> <laughs> I like that yours has got little dots next to the nose. I'll put some hair yeah. lines on and then... Put your yeah, hair first on it because I've just lost a lot of mine. Okay. You've got a bit of glue yet. I've just put a tiny bit on just for the nose. Yeah. It doesn't need a lot, does it? No, yeah, it's actually stuck all right. Watch it drop off now, I've just said. <laughs> Jinx. Right, she's got eyes. It looks so much like an alien already. Look. <laughs> oh. It's got no highlight in the you eyes. You captured his eyes. Yeah. So it's his little eyebrow. I think that really starts to make it look quite doggy when we get the eyebrows on there. Oh, yeah. Oh, that does. That looks fab with the eyebrow. I'm still going to try and make him look quite bulgy eyed. I think she's going to look better when she's got ears. Yeah. Well, the ears are going to make it definitely because they're <laughs> huge as well. I do like the eyes on yours though. I might. I think I might do the same. I think so. I wasn't going to. It'd be nice if you do similar style as well. Though. Yeah. But well, yeah, I've got ten eyebrows. I think that's what makes him look quite funny. Oh, well, he's got a little brown nose as well, isn't he? Yeah. I don't even bother looking at what you look like, Poppy. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty much black. <laughs> <laughs> looks funny that is. It looks like a seal. <laughs> she definitely doesn't look realistic anyway. That's one thing mine doesn't look. Oh, with the little nose and the eyes on it. It's because his eyes are like so huge. <laughs> but actually, like mine's cartoon as well. Yeah. But the only difference is, is Reggie in real life looks like a cartoon. It's it's crazy how like how much of a difference it makes the little highlight on the eye. You've got two, haven't you? I was gonna do two. Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. That's got massive brows going on. Oh, I like that. That's really good. Brows. It's so good how like the shapes change so easily just by adding that one thing. It's... It does change it, doesn't it? Completely those eyebrows. Mm. I just need to put some more hair on. I didn't actually give her any nostrils. Again, it's fine. She doesn't need nostrils. <laughs> No, yeah, but you're going for more of a... More cartoony. Yeah. yeah. And I suppose you could leave them smooth, couldn't you, without even any hair if you didn't want to. The whole animal, yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. Especially for like a short hair, but like him, I've got to lift him yeah. as he was. Look, she's modelling. Look. Are you modelling for me over there? Because yeah. actually her ears we start quite far down, don't they? Is this you? Is that you? I'm not been nice, I haven't put tie in anything yet. No. Sometimes I have to yeah. put tie to things. Because there's nothing really particularly freestanding. Everything's no. quite supported, which is quite nice. Yeah, it means good. that when you send in the cake off, you don't have to worry. Yeah, I was thinking more like that kind of shape. 
Yeah, that's, okay. that's, yeah, that's really similar. <laughs> He's chewing. <laughs> then I'll put my lines in it, I think, before I put them on. Would you like everyone to know that he's got a chicken chew and he's really enjoying it? <laughs> See ya. Oh, it's up again in his chew. <laughs> he's such a small dog, it's very attention seeking. So you're just adding a bit of glaze to the... Bit of glaze. Do you do this in layers? I tend to do it in a few layers. Yeah, I find if I put it on thick it, it drips. Yeah, so I usually put at least a couple of layers on. Yeah. You. Oh, that bow looks brilliant. It looks cute, it? Yeah. Let's see, where does she have white? I might even have where she doesn't white. have white. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why you're even bother looking, to be honest. She definitely has some on her nose, like oh. down here. Yeah. So let's go right here up. That makes such a huge difference, idea, I think. Yeah. So would you, would you normally use an airbrush for this? Not for white. Right. What I would probably have done if I was doing her would be stuck. Start it in white and then and then the black do on. the black on. But mm -hmm. this is much better. I think I'd do it this way. I love the grey because it makes her look a little bit older as well. Yeah, she's an old lady. Oh. Although I'm not sure being old makes her look a bit more unattractive. No. <laughs> Has she always been that grey? Uh, yeah, she has always been grey here. Mm. When she was a puppy, people didn't know if she was a puppy or an old dog because <laughs> obviously she's quite grey. Just a little bit on Right around the gills. A little bit on her, yeah. Yeah, that's cute. Which covers up the bit that I've just dropped everywhere. Because okay. the chest is quite grey as well, I think. Yeah, the chest. The chest is. Oh, that's so cute. She looks like much greyer when she's had a haircut. When her hair gets long, she looks much darker everywhere. Oh. God, that's made such a huge difference. It does make a difference, doesn't it? A mm. bit of colour. love that. And oh. she's got like a little bit of a tint on the edge of her ears. Yeah, she's definitely got grey on the ears. I don't know, maybe, I'm, maybe I'm making my cake look a little bit old. No, I like her. <laughs> what does <dusty>. Yeah. <laughs> the old age dog cake. Yeah. And I've already put some glaze on the nose like you did on yeah. the eyes. That's so cute. And I'm tempted. She doesn't have any one in I think nose, but I'm tempted to put some there anyway. I think so. Because it's quite a big area, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that looks brilliant. Wow. And the good thing is it wipes off the glaze, doesn't it? Once the glaze is dry. Yeah. It's very girly. Do eyelashes. She does look a bit girly, yeah. Yeah, so I just did them the same as you did your little claws. Mm. But obviously stuck them on the edge. Mm. So what do you think I should do with the board? I think a little bit of a blanket because she has stayed in bed pretty much 90% of the time. She has been in bed. She does enjoy her bed. <laughs> she doesn't do much else. So to cover my board, oh, I've got a few air bubbles and it's just going to roll my fondant quite thin. I'll need more fondant than this. I'll make some more in a minute. See if we can. I wonder actually if I can lift this paw up a little bit. I think you can, yeah. Yeah. Do you want me to hold it up? Oh, thank I'll you. Hold the paw. And then we'll see if we can tuck it's that under there a little, little bit. bit. Two people. Thank you. I think it's alright to pop down now. Yeah, that looks good. And then if we kind of scrunch it up, it looks a bit like a yeah, kind of blanket, that. doesn't it? Let's see if we can push it into the gap there. Well, I like the blanket idea. Yeah. Licking that. And I haven't put any water down, but I should really just put a tiny bit of water. But it feels like it's it's fairly tacky yeah. anyway. This do you use spray like... bottles ever? I have a little water spray. That's no, but good. I shouldn't do. That's a good idea actually, isn't it? I so think you can just just spray the board and then stick it on. Oh, I'm really. gonna start doing that. Then. Yeah. So I'll finish putting that around all the way around, and then I can put like a ribbon or something yeah. on the edge. Yeah. yeah. Let's put a little indentation in the middle. And little ball in the middle. Just to finish it off. Oh, are you cute? So there we are, all finished. Our dogs in cake. And um, how long do you think that took us? No longer than an hour? Yeah, about an hour. Yeah, so say. super quick cakes, nice and easy to make. And I'm gonna swap my dog for this one, I think. <laughs> and big thank you to Molly for coming oh. and helping us with this video. You're very welcome and thank you for having us. You're Putting up welcome. with the chaos that is having two dogs. They've been better behaved than my dog. <laughs> so Molly, where can everybody find your little cake tins? So these are available on uh, mollyscreaturecreator.com. I'll 
I suppose you'll put a link on follow me. We will, we're going to put some links at the bottom of the video or underneath the video for you all to find. And then if you look at my, my social media, uh, there's loads of little videos of the other things I've made and the things other people are making as well. It's a real kind of community and it's lots, oh, of, fantastic. lots of people's creativity coming through and it's lovely, lovely to see. So be sure to check that out. Thank you very much. Thank you for having Thank me. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment below. You can see more of my tutorials by clicking on the images on screen now. If you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button to stay up to date with my future tutorials. There are also links in the description box below where you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and more.